Hello, I made a previous video showing you multiple different ways that a TeamSpeak server can get hijacked or hacked because the permissions may have been set incorrectly. And I showed how to detect and defend against those things. And in this video, I'm going to show you another one that I figured out that probably more people are susceptible to even if they think they've secured their server. So let's have a look at the server here. This is the owner tab, which has the server, the main original full server admin server group. And then we have a deputy admin here, which was a duplicate of server admin, and then slightly tweaked to prevent them from being able to do certain things. For example, uh, deputy admin has group modifier of 70, They've got member add and remove powers of 70 and a permission modify of 70. So as you may recall from a previous video, this means that a deputy admin cannot ever take away your own admin and they can't go tweaking permissions in here because they don't have the requirement. The grants are all still higher than their permission modify and you haven't dropped any of those and then you've not got enough add and remove power you don't have enough group modify to even modify the groups even if you did have the permission so this right here is very secure except for one thing you need to go through these permissions and set them all up one at a time because a lot of people just tend to do these basic things and they neglect other things. So, for example, as far as anyone's concerned right now, this deputy admin should not be able to screw up or screw over the server owner because they just don't have the privileges. All right, They can't take this away, they can't modify it, so the guy's safe, right? Well, let me show you this. So, as a deputy admin, I right-click on the server at the top, go to Edit Virtual Server. And if you don't see all the options, you just hit the more button here and it brings up the full window. Then you hit the miscellaneous tab and we have some magic settings here. What these are, are the default groups that people are assigned to, whether it's when they first come into the server, what their server group is, what their channel group is, or if they make a channel, what they end up with for the channel group. So. Right here we can see that a server group of guest is assigned to everyone who enters the server. Well here's the problem, if you recall, Deputy Admin does not have any ability to modify server groups because it, has, it doesn't have enough group modify to begin with to be able to tweak anything and it doesn't have enough permission modify to tweak anything if it could. However, if we set server group to server admin, it gives us a warning that this is going to make it the default, and then I hit apply. What this has now done, it has modified, the server itself has modified the server admin group, and it has made it into a temporary, you can't fully see that yet, but you will do in a moment. You could see that this is blue and that one's black. So now, if I bring in a guest, into the server, and it's never been in before. Oh, wrong one. Guest. Now, this guest has server admin, yet they've never been in the server before. So now, as a guest, I can come here, go to permissions, and I can make a duplicate of this. Yeah, here we've got a, a copy right there. I can make that permanent, and I can even. I can assign myself into that. So now I've got that and even the guest that just came in could go to these same settings that the deputy did or the deputy could do this, put it back to guest and then whenever that guest comes in they now have server admin and that means that since now they've reconnected and they've got a permanent server admin they can right click the real server owner and take away their own server admin and now 
This is how a deputy admin can hijack your server. Now, how do you prevent this? Well, what you need to do, if I give the server owner his privileges back. Okay, when you're setting your server up to prevent this from happening, what you need to do, let's put this back to permanent. What you need to do is go to virtual server under settings, and you'll see here, we have modify virtual server default server group. This should absolutely never be enabled because this is the thing that lets somebody who has some admin, but you've forgotten to change these, completely and truly hijack your server with the same, ending up with the same level of privileges because all they do is bring in a new name as I just showed you and it essentially has server admin so they can duplicate it and do whatever they want to your server at that point. So I highly recommend that you remove the ability to change the default for server group, channel group, and channel admin, because that will entirely prevent this situation from ever happening. Okay, so just a, a quick recap. What that little glitch or exploit did was it modified a server group when the person doing it should never be able to modify the server group and it gives anyone and everyone including them when they bring in a new name full server admin privileges so if you found this video useful please like it and subscribe to the channel and i will see you on the next video thank you